Ever since viewports were introduced in Vectorworks 11, users around the world have been taking advantage of this technology by improving their drawing set management, client presentations, and consistency throughout their document. There are, however, some frequently asked questions about viewports that we receive. They include pixelated 3D renderings, borders around cropped viewports, dimensioning objects in a viewport, and adjusting line weights in viewports. Here on the perspective sheet layer, I have three viewports rendered in perspective views. If I zoom in on one of these viewports, I can see that some of the pixels appear blurry and are not as sharp as I'd like. To correct this, simply click on your layers button in the view bar. Note that your active sheet layer will be selected by default. Next, click on your edit button and change the DPI of your sheet layer from 72 to 300. Once you have done this, click OK to return back to your sheet layer, select your viewports, and update them through the object info palette. Now, when we zoom in on the viewport, the rendered model looks much sharper and will print out with better detail. Next, I'm going to navigate to a sheet layer containing a cropped viewport. One of the questions we receive in tech support is, how do I make the border around my cropped viewport invisible? To do this, simply right-click on the viewport and choose Edit Crop, or double-click on the viewport select crop and click OK. This will take you into the edit crop mode. Next, select the object that was used to create the crop. Then set the line attributes to none in the attributes palette and exit the viewport crop mode. Now you will no longer see the object that was used to create the cropped viewport. Another frequently asked question is, when I try to dimension objects in my viewport, the dimension does not display properly. The reason this happens is because any objects that need to be drawn to scale must be drawn in the viewport annotations mode. Anything drawn directly on the sheet layer is drawn at a one-to-one -one scale. To activate the viewport annotations mode, simply right-click on the viewport and select Edit Annotations, or double-click on the viewport select annotations and click OK. Once you're in the annotations mode you can use the dimension tool to dimension your objects at the correct scale. After you're finished dimensioning your objects exit out of the annotations mode. Also, with this viewport selected, you can scroll down to the bottom of the Object Info Palette and select the Advanced Properties options. Here, you can easily increase your line weight thickness by typing in a value greater than 1, or decrease the line thickness by typing in a value less than 1. Along with other options, you can also set your viewport to display in black and white only. Note that these options just affect the selected viewports and does not change your document universally.